The question number 20, it's the last but one question in the writing part. This is about writing equations in of lines in point slope form. This is very easy because there are only two steps and you must do those two steps because over here they are specified its point slope form. You can't use say a slope intercept form or anything. And for point slope form, they will give you two points. See over here, x1, y1, x2, y2. You can even interchange these. You can take the second point as x1, y1, first point as x2, y2. You will get the same answer, but let's go in order. First one as x1, y1, second one as x2, y2. Now the step one is always finding the slope. m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. This is the slope it is a uh, slope formula. Substituted y2 is 22 minus y1 is 6 divided by minus 2 minus of minus 4. Just the given values I've written it over here. Now let's solve it. 22 minus 6 will be uh, 16 divided by plus 4 minus 2 is 2. Answer is 8. This is the slope. That's done. Now we have to write point slope form. Step 2. What is the point slope form formula? It's y2 minus y1 equals m into x2 minus x1. Now this one is the general way we write it if we have to find the slope. But now this is see same thing. I've just taken x2 over here. You can see it as y2 minus y1 equals m into x2 minus x1. But when we write the slope form, point slope form equation, this y2 will just remain as variable x and y. Okay, this is the actual formula. Now here, don't do anything to x and y. See where x2 and y2 was there. There, you have to leave it as it is. Now, y will remain, x will remain. What about y1 and x1? It's up to you to choose any point. You can choose the first point or the second point. Let me choose the first point here because the answer will, uh, you can get two different answers, but it's correct answer itself. I'll write the first point here now. This is minus y1 is 6 equals, what's the slope? 8x minus x1 will be minus 4, that will be plus 4 over here. This is one answer. The another answer would be y minus, write this one, y2 is 22, equals 8 into x minus of, uh, minus of minus 2, will be plus 2. This is the other answer. Both are the correct answers. So this is the point slope form. Now here, okay, after that they have simplified, right? No, that's it. So, oh, they have written the first answer. See, this is the first answer. That's it. This is the point slope form. You don't even simplify it because point slope form specifies it's like this. Now, if you have done this also, it's correct. This is also correct answer. Don't worry. But you just take the first point and do it. Okay, that's it. So, usually this will be the answer. But it's in writing. So, your teacher will understand when it's correct, when he or she is correcting. Whichever form you use, that is the correct answer itself, okay? But I'll just erase this for now. Let's stick to this. This is the method. And the detailed methods are specified here. Now, I have written this directly as plus 4, but please don't do what I did. Write minus of minus 4 and write the next step as the final answer. Because this question number 20 is FRQ. You have to write. So it's better to specify in writing. The next one is the same thing here. Please do it by yourself. The same formulas and everything, but only the variables are changed. Now here you can see find the slope. That's the first step. And then write this equation. It is y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. You can choose the first point or even the second point, but generally the first point is taken and written. Same thing with the next problem here. Step one and step two, only two steps. Only two formulas, the slope formula, and the same thing is the point slope, but just that the x2 and y2 are written as x and y. And last one over here. So this is the answers. So don't go to simplify further. Here, once you write the equation, leave it. That's it. Because they have mentioned its point slope form. This is the formula. Uh, this is the form. And that's it. That's the end. It's one of the very simple problems. Please remember two formulas, they are the two steps, finding the slope and then we write the equation.